Hello and welcome. My name is Jonathan Bill and I will be your host tonight for this wonderful event. We are so excited and thrilled for all of you to join us here at the Mustard Seed Project for this virtual fundraising experience on this beautiful and breezy June evening. Now, many of you have attended our previous live events, but during COVID, of course, we've had to be flexible and, and we've changed how we accomplish our goals and we're still going to have fun. <laughs> if you haven't already, please go to our website. That's tmsp21together.givesmart.com. I'll say that again. tmsp21together.givesmart.com. And that is where you can donate and bid in the auction. And there are great experiences and items that could be yours, things you can't get anywhere else. Now, <clears throat> a couple of things you should know before we begin. First of all, our goal tonight is to raise $65,000. Now, a pool of donors has come forward to offer $20,000 in matching funds to help us get there. So every dollar you donate will be matched by these generous friends on the Mustard Seed Project. And through the evening, we will check in on our progress toward that goal. And as you bid, the website will let you know when someone else has bid on that same item. So have your phone ready to up your bid so you can make sure that you can take that item away yourself. Now, bid away. This is not the time to look for bargains. We are here to support services for our older neighbors. If you really want one of those incredible auction items, don't miss out. Click on the Buy Now tab, pay the indicated price, and it'll be yours. End of story. Also, coming up later, there'll be a Raise the Paddle segment, and this will be a chance for you to just make a gift to help us meet that goal. Now, at this time, it is my pleasure to introduce the Executive Director of the Mustard Seed Project, Eric melendez Blake. Eric? Thank you, Jonathan, and thank you all for being here tonight. The Mustard Seed Project has been providing services to Key Peninsula seniors and their families since 2007. Edie Morgan's vision was to help KP seniors age safely in place in their homes and in their community, and to make the KP one of the best places to grow older. Thanks to that vision, and to the support of this incredible community, we're proud to announce that we're about to take a huge step forward in realizing that big vision by closing our financing and breaking ground on the first assisted living homes on the KP this summer. COVID has been hard on all of us as individuals and on our communities. And one of the hardest hit groups, of course, has been seniors. Thanks to the help of so many volunteers, so much community support, the Mustard Seed has continued to provide vital services during the pandemic, getting creative to serve our mission. And here we are today, thanks to your help. Now, one of the themes we've touched on throughout this challenging time has been people helping people. And that sounds simple, and it is, but it's also something really inspirational Thinking back on the beginning of the pandemic, when none of us knew what was coming or how we would get through it, uh, what stands out in my memory is the generosity of this community. In fact, especially at the beginning of the lockdown, we got many more calls offering to help than asking for it. Later, um, well, actually throughout the evening, you're going to have a chance to raise your paddle, and of course you can bid on all the different live auction items in support of the work that we do for KP Seniors. I ask when that time comes for you, that you be ge as generous as you can be. And that's because when we all come together, helping those older or less able than we who need support, we make this community even better while making the Mustard Seeds mission and vision into reality. Now I'm here to share with you about the many services and programs on the Cape Key Peninsula is our own KNOT news roving reporter, Carolyn Wiley. Welcome everyone to the Key Peninsula, one of the jewels of the Puget Sound. I am Carolyn Wiley, roving reporter for KNOT News. If you live here, as I do, you know all of the joys and some of the challenges that we experience. Most of us have moved here for the rural lifestyle, but we get so much more. Where else can you become captain of your own boat? Fulfill your dream as an artist. 
become a musician. Or be a farmer and raise goats and sheep and alpacas. Become a master gardener. Chop your own wood. Or have it delivered from the mustard seed firewood bank. Hike endless trails with beautiful views. Have Santa Claus as your next door neighbor. Display and share your fiber arts. The list goes on and on and on. But that's not what makes the Key Peninsula great. It's the people. We are here because we love the community and we care for others. We come together with the Mustard Seed Project to help our seniors. We love the community so much, we never want to leave. And with the Mustard Seed Programs, we don't need to. So help us out tonight and continue to come together with the Mustard Seed to support our community and our future here. This is an investment in the future of your own community. Thank you, Carolyn, for sharing all those reasons why we live on the Cape Peninsula and what a wonderful community we have and how we come together to meet the needs of the aged and the underserved. You know, we're almost an island here on the Cape Peninsula, especially when it comes to services and accessibility. And that's why an organization like the Mustard Seed Project is so needed here. Even with my involvement in the organization, you know, I actually didn't realize all of the partnerships and services that the Mustard Seed provides. These partnerships are essential to providing well-rounded services in all five of the organization's focus areas. They are transportation, health and wellness, community education, senior housing, and information and referrals. Now, by partnering with agencies such as Catholic Community Services, uh, Pierce Transit and the YMCA, Key Peninsula Community Services, uh, Public Health, uh, Two Waters Arts Alliance, and Lutheran Community Services, they're able to provide rides to medical appointments or grocery shopping. Uh, they can find volunteers to do general yard work and light housekeeping. Uh, the Mustard Seed Project also provides art and gentle movement classes for the mental, mental and physical health of seniors. And even during the pandemic, some of the classes were provided online via YouTube. <clears throat> Plus, they help with access to food and some fun with programs like Santa for Seniors. And recently, they managed vaccination clinics to make sure our most vulnerable seniors could get their vaccinations. It's through these relationships with a network of senior services that the Mustard Seed Project meets seniors in their homes exactly where their biggest needs are. In 2020 alone, listen to this, volunteers and staff served KP seniors over 12,000 separate times. <laughs> That's right, from this little community. We, yes, we're an elder-friendly community, but to stay that way, we must have the infrastructure that the Mustard Seed provides. You know, it's, uh, excuse me, just a moment. Uh, wait, this just in, oh, we have a breaking news report from our roving reporter, Carolyn Wiley. Uh, yes, okay, uh, now to Carolyn. Go ahead, Carolyn. Our roving reporter, Carolyn Wiley, for KNOT News in the Field. Roving reporter, Carolyn Wiley here for KNOT News. We're on the scene of an unfolding crisis situation that sadly only too many of us have already faced on the Key Peninsula. I'm here with local woodpile owner, Bob Coote. Mr. Coote, can you tell us what happened? My tarp is gone. Your tarp is gone. Yeah, my tarp. It was right here, and then it was gone. I see. Can you tell us how that happened? Well, it started when we were chopping wood. Hey, I didn't say stop chopping. And then the tarp. It just took off for no reason. 
the tarp took off for no reason. No reason. And I only had it a couple of years. You usually get more than that before they disappear. Can you describe the tarp for us, Mr. Cooch? Yeah, well, it's about, it's blue, about yay wide and yay high. Isn't that right? Yeah, right. But it is a 12 by 15 sheet of woven polyethylene fabric, heat sealed seams, reinforced with cord and aluminum grommets. It's water resistant, recyclable, tear resistant, UV stable, and washable. Sells for about mm, 895. Yeah, and the color is best described as a custom blend of cobalt, azure, and lapis, depending on the season. Yeah. I see. So this isn't the first blue tarp the coots have lost. No, no. They're like that. You get a few good years out of them and then boom! They're gone! Happens all the time. Uh, just a minute. Just a minute. Uh, I'm, I'm getting something. Yes. Yes. I understand. I understand. This just in, we have a sighting of a blue tarp. I say again, someone has seen a blue tarp on the Key Peninsula. Stay tuned as we follow this breaking news story to bring you in developments as they occur. This is Carolyn Wiley, KMOT News reporting. Wow, thank you, Carolyn. This is uh, this is quite the crisis. I, I mean, how are they going to protect that woodpile from the elements without that blue tarp? I, you know, it makes me think, I, I better check on my blue tarp when I get home tonight. It's awfully breezy. I hope it's uh, hope it's still there. It hasn't wandered off. <coughs> and, uh, and, and Carolyn, uh, please keep us updated on any new developments in the story. All right, now, back to why we're here. Uh, let's check right now on where we are on reaching our goal amount. Uh, I've got an update here for you, just a moment, and it's set, oh my goodness, wow, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you have uh, you have really come through for us, you have given us quite the jump start here, our total, as of right now, stands at $42,030, that, that is fabulous, uh, but folks, it's just a start, we need to make that goal, of course, so I know that we can raise the rest if we just give at the level that we are able. Every little bit helps, and there are many ways you can give. And help us earn that whole $20,000 match by making a gift anytime during the evening. Now this match will double the impact of your contribution. So go to that website, again, that's tmsp21together.givesmart.com and click on Donate. And it's even gen easier to be generous by spreading your donation out over the year. Make those monthly gifts. Just click the box that says monthly. And another way to help our older neighbors is to pledge an amount from your retirement account or make a gift of stock. Either one could have tax benefits for you. And if you want to give this way, just contact the Mustard Seed Project by emailing us at development at themustardseedproject.org. Now, <clears throat> to pledge from your IRA, we can count that toward the match. So all of these gifts will help us reach that goal. And you can help KP Seniors by bidding on our great auction items. Use your phone and check on the items to keep bidding to make sure you get all those good things that you want. And remember, you'll be alerted every time there is a bid higher than yours on something that you want. So then you can raise your bid and make sure you win that item that your heart desires. Now the items will remain open for bidding until 7 p.m. long after the show ends. So keep checking your phone for those updates. Now, <clears throat> let's take a look at some of the wonderful items you can bid on. Uh, Polly Robinson will present the auction items. Polly? All right. We have two beautiful cedar and polished stone birdhouses here. They are offered by Doodlehead Designs, and they have each of them have on the back a little door for easy access for feeding. 
and they are 15 inches tall by 10 inches wide each and as i said they're being each offered separately the front are beautiful polished river stones and they make a great addition to any garden here we have a beautiful green ceramic bowl with applique leaves and berries this is hand crafted and um, thrown by patty Neville. it's got this beautiful artwork the leaf and berry pattern I'm, I'm hoping this is getting picked up on camera and inside is this gorgeous gorgeous green glaze it's a 10 inch bowl and it's one of our fabulous auction items. We have a beautiful drop necklace here that's designed by Helen Rusa. This has, and it features Swarovski crystals, I can never say that word right, Swarovski crystals that are no longer in circulation and it also has Swarovski pearls, which I now understand are a separate thing. Um, they are also have, features Japanese glass and gold beading. This is a spectacular necklace for your night on the town. I can model it for you on my tuxedo. There you go. Who wouldn't want this spectacular piece of jewelry? I think it's amazing. Next, we have a beautiful um, blown glass pendant with 24 karat gold inlay, and it's by Vaughn artist Bryn Riddell. It also has a sterling silver cap or top on it with a bale of gold and silver and featured on a gold chain. This also would look spectacular at any event that you wear a tuxedo or not. Maybe you could just wear this. Okay, this, I, with apologies to all the chess players out there, I just wanted to feature some of the beautiful handcrafted chess pieces that are on the board that is featured today, along with the handcrafted chess board, which is rosewood and boxwood. It, it, this, I, I'm a woodworker and this takes my breath away. This chess set is unbelievable. It's so smooth and it's all done by hand. It's just a spectacular chess board that I think would hold pride of place in anybody's home. And this was built by Jim Davis and um, I bid on it before I bid on it because it's a spectacular piece of craftsmanship. So here we have the board and it's spectacular. I mean, it's just like silk. You could spend all day just doing this on this beautiful, beautiful board. It's really amazing. Are you prepared for the next power outage? You will be with this set. You have a 150 lumen LED light. You have a gorgeous, fuzzy, very soft Parisian blanket. You have your woolly socks. Inside, mm, beeswax candle, always important. You can, if you'd like to stay awake, have your Alderwood roasted special coffee, or even better, finish the day with your 2009 port. You have the coffee grinder that goes with the special coffee to scent up your entire house with that great smell of coffee. And I will just say that you have not done complicated until you've done a Ravensburger puzzle because these are amazing. And last but not least in this fabulous pack is the holy grail of the mustard seed. The unavailable anywhere else mug, the special mustard seed mug. You can't get this anywhere else. Here we have a spectacular offering from Lake Bay Pottery. It's a three or four color glaze, uh, 12 inch wide pottery bowl that they list as a small pasta bowl. I'm afraid to see their large pasta bowl but you can see the craftsmanship that goes into this turning and throwing of this pot. And the glaze is just unbelievable. And then you have the hand crimped thumb uh, marks all the way around. I think they're for easier grabbing of your pasta. But there you go. That's for sale on our, that's for auction on our site. Next we have, and I'm kind of proud of this because I'm offering it for auction. This is a 10 by 16 cutting board. It's fairly lightweight. You can use it as a cheese board. It's got, uh, it's made of uh, walnut, madrona, pine. Um, it's got um, cherry and uh, maple inlay featured throughout. And on the back, it's stamped with um, the craft workers mark. But I, it's super smooth, super great, makes a great cheese cutting board. And if uh, you want this and don't win it in the auction, if you match the bid in the auction, I will make you a separate one, just for easy. So we have the first of two Scottish offerings here, special Scottish offerings. The first one, these items come in this beautiful, beautiful willow woven basket. Now this basket was made by the same people who made the baskets for the television show Outlander. It's beautifully made, lightweight, and would be a, just a great contribution to your home. Inside is this lovely Loch Caron uh, lamb's wool throw, super lightweight, incredibly soft, but will keep you warm and toasty. If you can't be toasty enough with that, you can partake of these lovely Scotch whiskey chocolates um, in the Loud and Cloud pattern here. And on the, you also, 
to learn a bit more about your, uh, sorry, not your wines, your single malts by flavor, there's a handy guide. Now included in this package are these two beautiful bottles of uh, Scotch whiskey. This is um, Highland Single Malt Scotch whiskey, whiskey, and this is the Game of Thrones Limited Edition. And along with this, you get these beautiful snifters, crystal snifters, to enjoy your this is not your typical Pier 1 basket. This is an organic seagrass basket featuring actually almost too many things to mention here. But let me just start at the beginning with the beautiful crystal. Once again, we have beautiful crystal uh, snifters to go with the single malt scotch whiskey that's offered with this package. But to me, that's beside the point because what's inside here is magical. I'm going to tell you at the very bottom is the very best toffee ever made. Moffat's toffee is unbelievable. I wouldn't combine it with the scotch whiskey sauce, but I would have a good steak ahead of time with this and then finish it off with that. You also have little luxury mints. You have Highland tea. We have Scottish chocolate fudge. We have, of course, the ever-present Walker shortbread cookies. We have Edinburgh rock. We have, oh, stem ginger biscuits, which are to die for. And, oi, butter tablet. You need to bid on this quickly because I may be bidding on this. I lived in the UK and I missed this stuff and it's calling my name. We also have some amazing oat cakes here and to cap it all off when you want to recreate all this yourself, you have, it comes with this gorgeous Outlander kitchen um, cookbook by Diana Gabaldon, the one and only who created the Outlander books and series and is writing for the television channel. You may have noticed that we've been featuring some items on this terrific Lazy Susan. And it's not just for artistic purposes. This Lazy Susan is up for auction. It's a beautiful oak barrel top and made from the metal bands that go around the oak barrels to hold them all in place. Uh, this is a spectacular piece of woodworking. It weighs a ton, but it would make any reach across any table just as easy. It is marked with the original maker's mark and it also says American oak, uh, medium plus toast. So I don't know what went in here but I'll bet it was just as amazing as the Lazy Susan that it's become now. This beautiful tapestry was made by Margo McDonald. It is part of a series that she created for the KP. This is the view south from Dutcher's Cove. It's beautifully detailed, and I'm hoping the camera can pick this up. It's also mounted on its own board um, and ready to be hung on your wall at home. All right, here we have a mini vacation right in your own backyard. We have starting out with and it's not pictured here but we have starting out your tour with a gondola ride through beautiful gig harbor with an authentic gondola imported directly from italy and a gondolier who may not have been imported from italy but was inspired by his italian counterparts after that you will end up at the dock and go straight up to the tides tavern for a fabulous meal and you will have this is your gift certificate for your meal then you also from there will move forward into the Maritime Inn where you will be treated to one night stay in the Boardwalk Queen View room at the Maritime Inn. You can then either reserve this for the next day or do it some other time, but then you get a Heritage Distillery also gift, a gift card and a basket of wee mini whiskeys to try out to do your own mini whiskey flight in your fabulous room at the Maritime Inn. This is one of the many packages that we're offering this year for mustard seed. It's an experience that you can purchase. We're offering other packages such as the, uh, the lamb cuddle and uh, there's a, a farm tour as well. So there's many experiences that you can bid on that you can take part of. You can do them in a party of two or a party of six. So take a look at the offerings that we have and I hope you bid on them all. Thanks, Polly. What great items and experience that we're offering tonight. I, you know, I'd love to have that basket of Scottish delights for that special whiskey from Scotland. Uh, you know, the water in Scotland is what makes that whiskey so special and unique. Or, or what about the four nights at the Sun River Resort in Bend, Oregon? That is a world-class resort. They have golf course and a spa, and come to think of it, I could take my bottle of genuine scotch with me and really relax down there. Or, or how about the casita in Arizona, sitting in the sun during the winter for a week when it's raining up here? I mean, who wouldn't want that? <laughs> so just remember to, uh, oh, excuse me, uh, wait, yes, just a minute, we have a breaking news report just in. Our junior reporter, Maureen Riley, has another live update on that missing tarp. Junior KMOT news reporter, Maureen Riley, with footage 
taken by concerned citizens on their cell phones of a certain mysterious blue tarp that appears and then disappears before they can grab it. These sightings have taken place all over the Key Peninsula. This is what it looks like. Be aware, ladies and gentlemen, the blue tarp is still at large. Oh, I have just learned. Carolyn Wiley is on location in Home, Washington with breaking news. Over to you, Carolyn. What's happening? This is Carolyn Wiley, K Not News. We have located the blue tarp in downtown home on A Street. The blue tarp uh, has been wandering through this neighborhood and we rushed down here to be on scene for the capture of the blue tarp. Wait, I, I hear something. Oh, the blue tarp is gone. The blue tarp has disappeared again. We need the community to help us locate the blue tarp. If you see the blue tarp, please call the K Not News hotline. That is 1 800 Blue Coot. B L U C O O T. This is Carolyn Wiley, K Not News roving reporter, signing off in pursuit of the blue tarp. Thank you. Thank you to our crew in the field for those updates. Now, I, will, I know that we want to get that tarp back for the coots, so we'll uh, continue to check in with Carolyn on the search for the missing tarp. Uh, meanwhile, I just wanted to share more about the wonderful experiences we have for our auction here, uh, especially those experiences that you can only find here on the Key Peninsula. Now, when I saw this on the website, I was really interested in this one, the tour of the Silver Bow Farm. Now, I've seen that sign as I drive by hundreds, maybe thousands of times. That's what you probably have too. And I've always wondered about that place, never been in there. Silver Bow Farm, as it turns out, is a fourth generation farm that has a forest and it's a retreat just south of Key Center. And it has 350 private acres back there. It, it holds a unique mix of habitats and wild species and you can join local naturalist and writer Chris Rurick for a two and a half hour nature walk through Silverbow's magical forests and fields. You know, Chris will show you some of his favorite places and he'll give you stories from the farm's over 80 year history and it will also include an up-close encounter with old gross Douglas firs, old growth Douglas firs, a guided search for birds and beavers, uh, cool bugs, <laughs> uncommon plants, along with other secrets of the natural world. And at the end of the walk, you can enjoy a picnic lunch. So there are six opportunities for this, for this one. So your friends should be bidding to come with you to Silver Bow Farms. And uh, maybe you'll find the blue tarp. <laughs> what about a morning in the lambing barn at Kaukiki Farm? Now there's nothing cuter than baby lambs. My wife and I, we raise lambs too. And I gotta tell you, there is nothing cuter than a lamb nursing from its mother. And uh, if you time it right, you might even see a lamb being born there. And then you can enjoy coffee and confections with your lamb snuggles. Or, uh, oh, how about this? How would you like to have a beach party at Driftwood Point? There are 10 opportunities for you and your friends. Uh, Driftwood Point is opposite McNeil Island in the Pitt Passage. And, uh, you know, back in the day, escapees from the federal prison on McNeil, they would uh, swim ashore for safe harbor and maybe meet up with Driftwood Annie, and, give her, and then she'd give them a hot cup of coffee or something. Uh, you can still sense their presence on that beach. Uh, enjoy a picnic that includes oysters, compliments of Taylor shellfish, uh, wine, and other treats under the gazebo there. And uh, then take a lazy kayak through the pit passage. You know, not only do we have these experiences in nature, but where else do you have the opportunity for a Zoom call with Santa? direct from the North Pole. Santa is such a generous fellow, so if we sell out, he might give us more visits, so keep bidding on that one. Or a wood-fired pizza party dinner for eight. That would be cool. Sarah Thompson and Richard Jolinas have a home-built pizza oven, and they've perfected the perfect wood-fired pizza. And where better to enjoy it than on their beautiful deck with an awesome view of Puget Sound. Now, if food is your interest, you could also learn to make sushi with local private chef Anne-Marie Oogles, 
or get a warm, fresh loaf of sourdough every month delivered to your door for six months made by Patty Giossi. Or you can eat out uh, with gift certificates from some of the Key Peninsula's finest local eateries. Those are all available in the Eat Local package. And then you could also, uh, excuse me, ah, Carolyn, I understand you have some more news on the missing tarp. Go ahead. KNOT News roving reporter Carolyn Wiley here at the Still in the Woods with proprietor Kootenas Evergreen and her sister cousin, Tu Cootie. I am here to inquire about information they may have regarding a missing blue tarp. Can you tell us, is that your blue tarp? Hell yeah, it's my tarp. I bought it fair and square at the home store off a nice man in a truck selling wood. We traded two hogs and some moonshine for that tarp. Well, you know all them blue tarps look the same, And right? it does not got their name on it. It's got the coot sisters, coot cousins, whatever we are. We don't know. Oh, our family, family. tree. Family. Don't, yep. don't branch out. It's straight up and down. But you bet your Vicky, that's our tarp. It's got grommets and it's uh, it's beautiful. It's, it's a little bit shiny. It helps the hot, when we're uh, transporting our moonshine. We put that tarp right over yep, the back Chevy. of the, the yeah, Chevy. right there in the bed the of the truck. We cover mm -hmm. that moonshine right up. Dope. Yeah, you bet we do. True mm -hmm. story. Well, we sell our finely distilled moonshine to some of the Key Peninsula's upper crust. We <laughs> ship most of our bottles over to Scotland and they take this stuff and they sell it for a lot more money than we get selling it on here on the Key Peninsula. And they auction it off. It's quite amazing how much they love our booze. From the little old Key Peninsula. You know what I gotta say about that? Cheers! Shake and bake! Shake and Shake bake, and bake. Sister. So sister cousin, you remember now, I know we're not supposed to talk about this because we did buy the tart from that nice man. That night we drank but, so much? Do you remember? Oh, what I, I remember. remember. I have the video right here on my paper phone right here. I got it. Do you remember that? You bet your shorts I do. I can't that believe tarp came walking right through the woods. It was scary. It was frightening. I thought it was the moonshine, but I don't think it was the moonshine. Ladies and gentlemen, we are watching raw footage I've just received of what appears to be a blue tarp currently at large on the Key Peninsula. That was incredible. Ladies and gentlemen, you have just seen authentic footage of a runaway tarp, or perhaps it's Sasquatch. I don't like the look of this. Be careful out there until this tarp is safely home, covering the wood pile where it belongs. This is Carolyn Wiley, KNOT News reporting. This shows how good our KP water makes our KP moonshine. Yeah, oh, you bet. You bet how good our moonshine is. We think we see Bigfoot. And we see walking tarps, that's for sure. <laughs> <laughs> it happens. Wow, that is quite odd, folks. You know, that tarp seems to be making its own way around the Cape Peninsula like it's a Sasquatch or something. That is surprising. You know, is it really their tarp or, or is it the Coots missing tarp? It's hard to tell with like multiple sightings of blue tarps here on the Cape Peninsula. And, uh, and, and wait, what, were they saying they sent their moonshine to Scotland? Well, that, that can't be right. It's, it's, that would mean it's really our water that makes the Scottish whiskey so good. <laughs> That's certainly a mystery. All right, well, <clears throat> while some of us on the Key Peninsula might uh, look eccentric to some folks, we admire the independence and the resourcefulness and the humor of people here. You know, if you need something, you're having trouble, they'll help you figure it out. And uh, in fact, if that can do spirit, that's part of who the Mustard Seed Project really is. Now, let's hear from some of our seniors and volunteers who have testimonials on how the Mustard Seed Project has helped them. May you stay. Mustard seed program has been so good to me. I was a, I've been able to live in my home for all these years. I, I cannot elaborate. I cannot say enough. I don't know what I would have done. We couldn't 
do the work we do without mustard seed. Uh, our work, which is uh, strengthening the KP by connecting the community, relies heavily on the mustard seed project. We're built on partnerships. Uh, we're built on building on the assets that are already on the KP, and the mustard seed pre predated us, was instrumental in our founding, helped found us, uh, and has been nothing but a bedrock of support ever since. My name is Anna White, and uh, my late husband was born and raised here at Luana. He gave Uncle Sam 30 years to the Navy, and uh, he's been gone for almost 30 years. I was living in a mobile home, <laughs> and you know, they don't last too many years if you can't keep it up, and I was a, I'm a low-income senior citizen, and it started falling apart, and I knew I had to have some place to live, so I went down and talked to Tony Trotter at the Mustard Seed. Immediately they started the paperwork. I, did, I wouldn't have this home without them. I'm Tony Trotter. I am a volunteer at the Mustard Seed at the KSIC desk. I'm also a board member. And I helped Anna White uh, off and on for a number of years. And she came in saying that her roof leaked. In the end, she needed an entire replacement of her home, which was done uh, through the Pierce County uh, Rehabilitation Loan Program. So what we did initially was just connect her with that uh, organization, Pierce County, and that program, and it started. But of course there were a lot of uh, complications, I guess, along the way, and we kind of bird-dogged that whole thing until, uh, until its completion. She's now happy. Uh, she, we just called her the other day and she had her 88th birthday. She is still living in that home. And uh, it's very satisfying, I think, for her and certainly for those of us who got to know her during that time. I'm a volunteer at the Mustard Seed Project and I believe strongly in the Mustard Seed Project. Uh, the Mustard Seed Project in their vision and mission want to make the Key Peninsula one of the best places in the world to retire and to live. They want to support the quality of life for our elders, and they want to provide those services which are not readily available uh, for those who don't have the income or means by which to do it. Some of them are infirm and can't get out and do the gardening. They'll go out and help mow the lawns and garden. Uh, if they can't get out for food, they provide transportation to get them to food or, or to medical uh, services. So the mustard seed will also uh, uh, provide not only for the for the elders but they support the elders and take loads off of the shoulders of the children who must take care of their elders. A community is only as strong as its weakest link if you will and although the Mustard Seed's mission is with elderly they understand that so strongly and they know that if they can help families then families are better able to take care of our elderly community. I'd like to encourage anybody on the Key Peninsula and the Key Peninsula community to support the Mustard Seed Project. Uh, having uh, went through that with my father, it's actually a lot of help for people. If you have never been involved with taking care of an elderly person, you have no idea the hardships and that that are going to come with it. So any type of help you can get like that would be uh, great and uh, supported if you can. I'm so thankful to the Mustard Seed and all the employees. They've been such a great help to me. And I'm just grateful. <laughs> May you always do for others and let others do for you. As you just heard, our programs make a real difference for those who need them. I know I want to be able to stay in my home and in my community as I get older. Your donations help people like Aunt Anne keep their quality of life for as long as possible. And we couldn't provide the programs we do or this event without partnerships, sponsors, and a whole bunch of volunteers and donors like you. And like I said, the best part, we're building assisted living and memory care homes on the KP. Thanks to your support of so many donors, foundations, and government. Because of that support, KP seniors who need supportive care will be able to have the choice to stay on the KP instead of going elsewhere for care. 
that's going to make a big difference, not just for residents in the new homes, but for our whole community, creating construction and long-term jobs and providing a place for people of all ages to stay connected with their neighbors and their family members in their final years. When you buy an auction item or virtually raise your paddle to give, you're supporting all of that, our current programs and the ones that we're building for the future. So if you haven't done that yet, raise your paddle, donate it there, please do. Um, thank you and please be generous. <laughs> That's right, Eric. And uh, just as Tony and Ray said, our volunteers know that giving benefits those who give as much as those who receive. Think about it, just knowing that your donations are going directly to help others and also to provide such important services has profound meaning on our participation in the community and our own mental and emotional health. Now, I have taught psychology and I know this to be true. There's plenty of research that shows our mental health is related to how we see the world. And giving makes us feel better about ourselves, about others, and about the world around us. So it's true, this is your chance to give. And it will feel great, I guarantee you. Now, this means that in order to maximize those funds, we will need to match every dollar that we can. So uh, let me remind you, go to the website here, tmsp21together.givesmart.com to donate online and choose the amount that's right for you. Now, decide if you can make a one-time donation or a monthly gift. That's a much easier way to make a larger donation, spread it out over the 12 months of the year. And as you give, your name will be added to the list of donors. But if you are shy, don't worry, you can give without revealing your name. Uh, just check the box that will let your gift remain anonymous. So uh, those who have given so far include, I have a, a lot of names here. Thank you so much, folks. And I'm going to give some people some credit. So let's hear some names. We have uh, Sally Shaw. We have Heather Stevenson, Ray Steiner, Bob Green, Mary White, Susan Quigley and Della McGinnis, Eric Blagan, uh, The Blend, thanks, uh, Dale and Claudia Loy, uh, Richard Pickering, Janet Stanley, Marion Sharp, Phyllis Henry, Rich and Mary Jane Hill, uh, Mark Cockrell and Marie Kennedy, Dave and Sally Brower, Sarah Thompson and Rich Chalinas are giving more, <laughs> Todd Rosenbaugh, uh, Charlie and Teresa Walters, and there are many more here, but thank you all of you. Thank you so much. And uh, yeah, we, we are seeing new names pop up constantly. Thank you so much, folks. Keep it up. And we will match that $20,000 much earlier than we thought. Now, <clears throat> what about our great auction items? Where are we with those? Let's see here. Um, you know, I know I've talked about the Arizona Casita, but it's really, it's going for a song right now. So, so that house, you know, it has three bedrooms and two full baths and there is great, this is an awesome vacation for people who like to golf. Uh, the movie Tim Cup, Tim Cup, you know that one about golfing? Yeah, that was filmed there. Uh, but it's also a great place to enjoy arts, shopping or hiking. Now read that description. This, this six day stay really sounds wonderful. So get on that one. Um, the Richard Miller photo shoot. Uh, you may have seen Richard Miller's uh, amazing black and white photos in the Key Peninsula News. Uh, this is also an amazing value. He promises photos that you'll love uh, after one hour photo shoot. This package also includes an 11 by 14 inch print along with digital copies of the images so you can make additional prints. Uh, also, you know, the walking tour of the historic village of home. That'd be the, just the coolest one for you fans of Key Peninsula history. Uh, don't miss out on this opportunity to learn about the Key Peninsula's utopian community. Uh, Rebecca Roberts and Leila Luganbill really know the history of home. This tour is for five people and will include a tour of Leila's amazing garden and scones at Rebecca's house. Don't miss that one. Go ahead and bid on that one, will you please? Now, I understand there's also a big demand for that sourdough. So, We'll add an extra if the bidding goes above $200. How about that? Uh, we have so many. Oh, uh, the sourdough, yes. Uh, it is confirmed the sourdough will go to the top two bidders. Um, we have so many gifted artisans on the Key Peninsula. Um, Kellen Rusa, uh, Patty Nebel, uh, Ray Steiner, Bryn Rydell, uh, Chris Bronstadt. Uh, 
uh, Susan Quigley and Gretchen Shepard. Uh, you know, Phil Bauer and his Lazy Susan <laughs> made from an oak barrel. And if I missed anyone, um, I'm sorry, but you know, these, these items are all unique, one of a kind, and only available through fundraisers like this on the Key Peninsula. Now, uh, I understand that Eric has a few people he would like to thank. Eric? I sure do. Thank you, Jonathan. There's quite a few people to thank. You know, um, this, these kinds of events take a lot of, a lot of work. So um, first, a big thank you to our sponsors for this event, Rice Fergus Miller Architects, Corsmo Construction, ENL Civil Engineering, KP School Bus Connects, Bayside Animal Lodge, Sound Credit Union, and Community Healthcare and William Credit. Thank you, sponsors. Uh, we also want to thank many, the, the many people who volunteered to make this virtual event possible. Sarah Thompson, Susan Quigley, Robin DeLeo, and Chris O'Neill for pr procuring all of the experiences and items for the auction, no small task. Managing to come up with innovative items and new experiences is, is a lot of work. Thank you to Laura Zalega-Mache for our delicious appetizers and to Glenn for the delicious wine offerings. Thanks to Barb Shoes, who continues to help with our auction events every year with her creativity and her ideas. Uh, thanks to our program director. Thank you very much to our program director, Cheryl Lowe, who wrote and directed the program script and pulled in a whole bunch of other volunteers to make this happen, including Ted Olinger for writing the blue tarp bits, and of course our performers, Carolyn Wiley, our K News reporter, Barb and Bob Green, that's Mr. and Mrs. Coot, Stephanie Brooks and Tracy Geis, who are busy making that moonshine, and of course the South Sound Strummers. Thanks very much too to Jim Reynolds and Polly Robinson for their technical assistance and performance. A big thank you to Jonathan Bill for emceeing tonight's event, and of course our wonderful staff here at the Mustard Seed. Maureen Riley, Director of Operations and Videographer uh, Extraordinaire. Uh, Marion Sharp, our Development Director, who's the mastermind of all the details and many details uh, of this event. And Jen Davis, our Transportation Manager. Let's give them, all of them a big round of applause. <laughs> Thank you. All right. Thanks, Eric. Well, I, I got to tell you, it's my pleasure to host this event once more and uh, to help raise money for the Mustard Seed Program. What better thing to give money for today? Uh, yes, um, oh, uh, okay, Carolyn Wiley says she has more news on that runaway blue tarp. Over to you, Carolyn. The tarp appears to be in some kind of trance. It's being lured by the music, yes, all the way home and back from its wandering adventures. Pile that needs its protection. Truly incredible and truly inspiring. It's a happy reunion and yet another story of community and resourcefulness that could only happen on the Key Peninsula. This is Carolyn Wiley, KNOT News, reporting. Thank you, Carol. Boy, that's a relief. Uh, but, you know, I do have to say, I, I, all of my time here on the Key Peninsula, maybe a couple of decades, well, couple, almost three decades I've been out here, and I've got to be quite a connoisseur of, you know, the, the shades of blue of, of these tarps. And I got to tell you, I think that was more of an aqua. I, I don't know where they got the idea that it's cobalt or lapis. You know, how about you, Eric? I mean, what color would you say that tarp is? I, I would hesitate to weigh in on this color controversy, Jonathan, because I'm actually colorblind, so I've never quite understood the blue aspect of the tarp. I've been told that they're blue. Actually, to me, they look this lovely green color. So regardless of the color, the important part is that we can come together and help our seniors. So let me thank you, our community, 
for coming together tonight for seniors and their families on the KP. Thanks for all you do to make the KP the best place to grow old. All right. Thanks, Eric. And uh, don't forget, folks, while the party's winding down here, there is still time for you to make a gift. Uh, these will stay open. You can keep bidding on items all the way up until 7 p.m. So even if we're at our goal total, please help us overshoot it. We continue to give, uh, continue to bid on those items. And uh, new donations uh, have, have continued to come in. And I've got some more names here. Uh, thank you to Michelle Gorman, to Genevieve Gallagher, to uh, Greg and Dion Brurick, and to Norm McLaughlin. Thank you folks so much for your generous donations tonight. And uh, the last of our auction items, do we have any more news on those? All right, not seeing that, but I think it is time to see our final totals before we say goodnight. <clears throat> so, now, Eric, if you can join me over here, uh, we're gonna look at the final totals for this evening. We have got numbers in front of us here, and we've got, oh boy, we're getting close here, folks. $59,030, uh, and that's with the matches. So we're getting very, very close, but there's more to earn, so keep on giving, folks. We're getting very, very, very close. We're almost there. Please help us get over, over the hump there. Uh, wow, $59,000 to see huge. you. Isn't that fantastic? That's huge. Yeah. I think that's All a high right. five, yes. Thank All you. Right. <laughs> All right. I know we'll get over that final total in no time, folks. Keep yes. it until 7 o'clock. Thank you, everyone. Thank you so much. It Thanks for coming. Friends to you, don't waste your time.